Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. What I'm doing now is the long-awaited paint process of the front downstairs. Now I know in the beginning we did a Lindsay primer base which is still on here and which I still stand by. However, I'm not going to be making this paint out of linseed oil. You know, I want to get the house painted while I'm still alive. <laughs> and I know that with the time constraints that I have and working a full-time job outside of this, it was, it was just going to be hard for me personally to do that. I still think that's a great idea. It's a wonderful idea if you have the time to execute it. Sorry, there's a awful horn beeping in the background. Okay, it went away. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do now, um, as you can see over here, I've already started cutting in on that side because I'm going to do something a little different with the surround, the entryway. We're not going to paint that white. You'll have to stay tuned to see what exactly I'm going to do with that, but I think it's going to be amazing. But the paint that I'm using is Bear Marquee Exterior Flat, and we're doing Antique White. We're going to do the trim and the columns and the bolsters and the spindles and all that when it's all out here in bare ultra pure. So we're going to have a little bit of the contrast with whites. So I think that gives it a little depth. I'm going to go ahead and put this in time lapse so that you can see the rest of the process on this wall.
How's the never ending scraping going, Mother? Just tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, this has been my mother's task while well, I've been outside working on the painting. And this is how far she's got. I think she's got in pretty good ways. I've got the door jam almost clean. We've got these two window sills clean. So what's left on this um, stripping project in here in terms of the facings is the large window right here, the one that I've been working on the outside on. We don't like to work on um, inside and outside at the same time because just in the rare chance that if one of the other of us were to knock the glass out, it's not that easy to knock out, but it kind of feels like it is sometimes. That's that's the stripping project. All in all, I think it's turning out pretty good. Hopefully by the spring, we'll be able to get some nice shellac on some of this before we get to start up here, which I personally am dreading. Okay, everyone, so we've come to the end of the weekend. It is freezing out here on Sunday afternoon, so we're gonna knock off a little early, but look what we were able to get started this is just a little glimpse of where we're headed these couple of boards here i was i went ahead and double painted so this has one coat of the linseed primer two coats of the bare um marquee i think it looks pretty good the cold caught me on finishing the second coats here it's not good to paint with this paint when it's just cold um, this is just got a primer on it right now, so and needs a little bit more cleaning up. We're not going to be able to get all this clean until we can actually physically remove the window, which is not right now because these things are extremely heavy, <laughs> and we're going to need at least another two or three hands to, to hold them while we're getting them out. So this will just be cleaned up and put on hold till we're at that point. But I was really happy with where we were able to get. I think it looks super clean. And hopefully by next weekend when we meet again, this will be complete enough. But I think it just gives you just a little taste of the things to come. I was super excited about it. And I thought to myself, this looks like brand new siding. This looks like a brand new house right here. But it's this 120 year old wood. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed this video and we'll be back next weekend with more and hopefully moving on across the face of the house and getting done with stripping projects in the front room. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, share, and subscribe and we'll see you all next weekend. Bye-bye for now.